Hi Aquariuses and welcome, we're going to be doing your readings. This is going to go for the next seven days. Should I go for the next seven days? What? No, this is going to be for the next seven days. Now, if you haven't seen my uh, stories on um, YouTube, do go check that out because that's where I've been posting my updates for you guys in regards to my health and stuff. So I have actually said that these readings are not going to be that long the way they used to be. So my clarifiers are only going to be one card okay, and one card only. I mean, in a short readings can get quite intuitive and, you know, you may be able to take a message away from it. So stay tuned. Um, let's see what's going on for the process for the next seven days. And don't forget to smash that like button, of course, and subscribe down below. Uh, let's see what's going on. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. Aquarius, I swear down, Aquarius, is a message came through last week for you guys, and I did not write it down. I'm so silly because I felt like it was a hot message for you guys, but yeah. Next time, next time I will. Okay, so we've got. Um, gratitude puts us in a position of having it so wanting, thanking rather than complaining. When we focus on what we already have and take stock of our blessings, we get more blessings. What are you grateful for? Share it with yourself and others. So that's what we have here for you guys. Yes, the fan is on, so the card is shaking. Okay, let's go straight into your readings. What's going on for you guys? Okay. I'll try speaking as loud as I can, Aquarius is for you guys because I can do understand the fan is on but it's really hot here and I can't turn it off um, and I don't have any places to put this fan um, so yeah, bear with me, I will try to sort this out a bit later for the next readings Aquarius for the next seven days please Have their current energy for the next seven days for Aquarius, please. Okay, so we've got the sun. Sun came out, that's good. I love that. What's blocking the situation through your cups? What's crowning you is the Hierophant. What do we need to know? Use the past to the Queen of Cups. Four of Swords is what's keeping you going in your conscious world. Three of Wands is the uh, near future, the five of cups is how you feel within yourself, four of pentacles is the person that you're dealing with or the external situation, five of swords is your hopes and your fears, your overall outcome is not ones and the overall energy for this reading is the world, nice, nice, I like that. Well there is good energy here so I'm not really too kind of like worried in regards to you guys um, Aquarius because I do see your stability actually being taken towards some kind of you know working together collaboration of projects so that is good your main focus might be just on getting on with you know your day-to-day -day work also you know just having some fun but also you know kind of just see what you can do in regards to having fun basically okay could be some travel going on or waiting to travel I do understand there are some restrictions still okay some countries and that's that's very normal. <laughs> Currently, that's very normal. Um, so yeah, I do feel like there's a lot of happiness here. So you guys could be dealing with children as well. It's not necessary, but I do see here there's a lot of happiness. There's a lot of fun, exuberation. There's a lot of confidence in yourself right now to go and do things. Okay. What's blocking the situation? There could be something here in regards to friends, reunion, getting together. Okay. And um, what's on top of your mind right now there could be a marriage situation here okay but i mean it's not necessary okay um we will clarify this because this can come up with 110 years okay the hyphen is literally about um you know learning spirituality social status um and traditional marriage it could be religion differences culture differences there are so many things okay when it comes to the hyphen what that could be 
Uh, the Queen of Cups here in the recent past, so I feel like there's something here about you giving yourself self-love, that that self-respect. Uh, um, I mean, okay, let's rephrase that because self-love comes with self-respect, okay? But it's also about you going within and listening to your feelings and what it is that you actually want. Four of Swords, okay, so there could be something along the way that's kind of giving you a little bit of attention, a little bit of headache. Maybe you get nightmares about it as well. I don't really see it as, as nightmares though, to be fair, but I just feel like there could be just some anxiety around the situation, but there is something here about needing to heal, rest up. Maybe you haven't been too well, okay, and that could be stemming from the recent past, which is why you're unable to go out with your friends and enjoy and socialise as much as you want to. I don't feel like this is a long-term illness. I do apologise if it is something that's long-term, but I really don't feel for whoever this is that this is long-term at all. Three of Wands, yeah, like I said, there is something here that you're waiting for. There could be an opportunity that you're waiting for. It could be a reunion that you're waiting for, which is on the block. Uh, there could be something here about you travelling or needing to go towards, um, you know, just needing a holiday, really. Because I'm just getting this kind of like, I need a holiday. I need to be stressed. That's the kind of energy I'm getting, really, from this. The Mom of Cups, okay, in your personal environment is pretty much showing here that there's been a lot of disappointments. So clearly, you and this person are not together at this moment in time. But these disappointments can be stemming also from just not being able to, you know, have fun, go out with your friends. Um, okay, there's a lot of disappointment here, there is. Again, I do see travel. There's a lot of water here, so there's something here about traveling. You need to travel, but unable to do so yet. Four Pentacles, so the person you're dealing with or the external environment, there's something here that you could be holding back from in regards to the personal environment, but this could also be the person. This person could be holding on to you, or you could be holding on to this person, okay? Uh, but, but there's something here about needing to go out yourself and stabilize yourself. The. Oh, wow, you're just gonna fall on me like that. <laughs> One second, guys. Ow. <sighs> okay. Oh, that was. Ow. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, so the Five of Swords here is something here about as your fears. I feel like your fears are kind of like in regards to a conflict conflicting energy here very conflicting there could be an argument that's happening or you're worried about an argument that may happen and this person might just walk away and not walk back again but i also feel like this could just be you in your mind okay very conflicted mentally um in regards to something we will see what this is the knight of wands okay in regards to the your cards are falling what is going on maybe you are worried about somebody or something slipping away like an opportunity slipping away from your hands because i'm kind of feeling like that right now uh, no ones <laughs> came fell down and turned into a reverse okay so this could be just like i don't want to face your problems but you don't want to face your problems right now because of the fear but honestly i don't take reversals so we will consider it but the knight of swords is uh knight of Wands is pretty much about you um taking that leap of faith taking that adventure going for it okay be very determined and passionate about doing that certain something okay but in a carefree way almost all that's the kind of energy i kind of get with that um but it's almost like you're taking a chance but then also i get the energy that you could be dealing with a player as well but this is not necessarily a bad thing it could be somebody that's just very passionate this could be you even so let's see what's going on i want to clarify the world first for you guys Aquarius. so let's see what that's about oh my aquarius the cards are like flying all over the place aquarius suddenly rising in venus Let's see what this world is about. Too many. Five Pentacles. So there has been something here about you not being financially able to kind of move or travel at the moment. So there's something here about that. But I feel like there is some kind of opportunity that's coming in with that world card, which is kind of going to reach a completion stage, okay? So if you're feeling kind of vulnerable right now, maybe you're left out of the cold by this person, unable to reach to this person, not able to talk to this person, um, not able to communicate with this person either, or just, just some kind of financial difficulties here that's stopping you from traveling at this moment in time, that is going to come to an end, okay? I do see that coming to an end. There could be a lockdown that's coming to an end as well when you guys are restrictions that are being lifted. Tell me about the sun. 
Yeah, that's just pretty much that energy that I keep hearing. Um, so <clears throat> while I was just shuffling these cards and I did hear, I feel like somebody was literally saying to me, like there's always just some kind of obstacle. <clears throat> the minute it feels like things are going well, there's always some kind of something that just keeps coming in the way that blocks blocks this whole thing of me not being able to go. And there could be a very good reason for that Aquarius came. Okay? It might just not be the right time. Um, and the seven of pentacles definitely shows that this might not be the right time it might be time to invest and save up um before you decide to have this reunion it might be something about you know look that tree is not fully grown yet see that tree is not fully grown yet so it just means that at any point that that plant or that tree can actually die um if you take the step now yes things may look good um things may look ready but the energy, the underlying energy is kind of showing that actually it's not, okay, it's for your own highest good that you don't take that step just yet, okay, so it's almost also, it's almost like saying don't be in your mind space about it as well, don't kind of think negative about it as well, okay, um, it will be fine, it will happen, it's just not the right time yet, well, talk about the three of cups, four of wands, so yeah, I mean, you could be definitely planning on having a reunion with this person, moving in with this person, maybe even getting married to this person, because I do see marriage here. If you're already married to this person, maybe the reunion, because perhaps, you know, you both live in different areas, or you're at, living at a distance, overseas relationship, like long distance relationships is what I'm getting. So there could be something here at the moment about you not being able to be with this person just yet or even get married to this person for some of you guys um so that could be why you're getting a little bit frustrated with regards to the situation but i do see trouble so don't worry i definitely have seen trouble either this person's going towards you or you're going towards this person it will happen so relax it might be small little obstacles aquarius but yeah trust me that's what this hierophant is Hierophant, yeah, there's, <laughs> it's definitely a marriage here. There's definitely a marriage here, um, and there's definitely a lot of balance here between you and this person. I feel like you may be wanting to offer marriage to this person, or you are already married and you're just waiting to be with this person. Something about restoring balance. I feel like there is something here about you taking a time out. Um, and that could be the thing about complaining you know the message here so yeah try to stay optimistic and try to say stay in a positive mind frame uh definitely okay so uh one second So let's see what this uh, Queen of Cups is. So guys, I'm just going to need to kneel on the table because I'm getting a bit of discomfort now. So I don't want to stop the reading because it's getting a bit intuitive here. So death and rebirth. Oh yeah, there was oh nice nice okay i like that there was something here about the recent past about you definitely go through a transformation where you just you started to give yourself more self-love um you listened to your inner feelings basically a transformation happened and i felt like the love that you gave to yourself glowed on the outside not just within which is kind of honestly it's, it's beautiful that is beautiful. That is really beautiful. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that is the first time. <laughs> That's the first time I've seen this. Aquarius, I'm not sure why Spirit told me to look at this card for myself, but Spirit literally said, 
look at those trees and look at the sun and I was like okay that's strange but then spirit literally said there's trees or well, basically I've got the same kind of trees in my back garden and the sun always shines above those trees always all the time from in the back garden so yeah <laughs> I don't know I don't know why he told me to 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 like why <laughs> what's up what's Aquarius is really got to do with me okay so let's see what the four of swords is about that's that's unusual I guess there was a message in there for me as well so there you are in your truth okay um, you're sitting there in your truth so while you're healing there's also something here about you sitting in your truth in your power um i feel like messages are coming to you and you're starting to see things for the way they are your perception your vision is getting a lot clearer now when it comes to what it is that you need to do in order to help you move forward which is good let's see what the three of wands is strategizing is also what i'm getting here so that's good let's see what the three of wands is could also be telling you to be rational in regards to whatever it is that you're planning so let's see what this will want is yeah yeah i just feel like there's this huge wait for this happiness to just take that leap of faith and just go towards it you know and i do see you doing that i do see you doing that it is going to happen which is beautiful energy this is all around all right let's see what this five cups is magician you're manifesting something here okay so i feel like without you realizing it whatever you're disappointed about whatever it is you're not seeing you're actually manifesting it behind the scenes and i think that needs to stop because the more you manifest that the less likely you're going to have this done with the three of wands um you're manifesting you're manifesting a loss rather than actually gaining something here by doing that um and what you're not realizing is actually that the universe is working for you to help you come out of this energy but you're putting yourself back in there okay let's try not to do that because it's really important here that you manifest the right things let's see what the four of pentacles is about you have all the resources you need as well to make things happen if you're trying to get to this person or somewhere yeah the fall all oh, nice so i feel like this person's still holding on to hope that there's going to be a new beginning here or that take that leap of faith towards something that they've been holding on to whether that is you whether that is you towards them them towards you but there is some kind of hope here i feel like this kind of going in there and just be like okay whatever's gonna happen will happen but i'm gonna definitely take this leap of faith into the situation love it there will be a reunion a reunion happening she's not manifesting this magician energy with this five of cups talking about the five of swords five of swords five of swords oh my you're really in your head face ain't you about something you're definitely very conflicted and i feel that kind of comes into your physical world as well so it's like whatever's in your mind you probably sometimes end up taking it out on others as well because of that so it's not a one is why are you doing that to yourself you can actually liberate yourself you can see it there is liberation there from this mental conflict ace of pentacles right you're heading towards making something new i feel like you could be proposing or about to propose to someone here yeah? um uh, buying a new house down payment and then moving in with this person that could also signify a holiday or travel as well but i can see you passionately moving towards this person or the person moving towards you so i did say it's going to happen but we need to stop crying over spilled milk okay Things might not look good right now but believe me they get better for you okay um so that's what i have for you career so don't forget to smash the like share and subscribe down below and i'll see you guys real soon pray for me and i'll keep you guys in my prayers too